All right, so episode 70 is in the books, and now it is officially time to move on and talk about episode 71 of Dragon Ball Super. And this is an episode that looks like a lot of people are going to be very, very hyped about as we see Hit is finally returning. A ton of people have got Hit in, like as one of their maybe most favorite uh, Dragon Ball characters of all time already, just based off of his very short abbreviated appearance in the universe 7 vs 6, you know, tournament match arc, whatever it is that you want to call it. So I do think this preview is actually kind of interesting in that it's very clear that Hit is coming to Earth to take down Goku. But what I find fascinating about this preview is we see, based on reactions from Gohan, Goten, and Piccolo, it seems as though it's possible that Hit will kill Goku in this episode. So there won't be some very long, you know, fight going on. Now, a lot of people, I've seen a lot of people talking about how, you know, Hit is a killer, you know, he didn't really mesh well with the tournament, with the constrictions of the rules and stuff. Goku himself even said that if it wasn't for the no-killing rule, Hit would have probably already defeated him. So, it looks like there definitely is some weight to that, too, that if Hit is actually able to just use his killing techniques, he could quickly wipe out Goku, Vegeta, or any of these characters. Although, I do think it is important to remember that Hit was very fearful of Champa, so I, I whatever assassination techniques Hit might have, I'm pretty confident that they would be useless against one of the gods of destruction. Now, if Goku would be killed in this episode, that is really interesting, and if it is indeed going to be an arc, as though it appears, I feel like we could go in a really cool direction with this. I'm not sure if maybe they might, you know, Goku might get taken out by Hit quickly and they gotta try and figure out who did it, or if we're actually going to see any other characters from Universe 6. That I'm not so sure of. I mean, this would be cool to put the spotlight on other characters besides Goku and Vegeta. And Toei is constantly given every Dragon Ball fan the reach around in terms of Gohan. I mean, there has been setup to Gohan, you know, actually starting to do stuff in the future. You know, there's been a million, like, you know, hints like, oh, look at Gohan, he's in his ultimate form. Oh, Champa, the god of destruction, he acknowledges power. You know, we can go on and on and on. Now, if... Goku would be taken out and Gohan has to do some sort of actual work, like Gohan actually has to put in work instead of just standing around and doing nothing, that would be cool and that would be worth it, although I, I'm, I don't know if Goku is actually going to die, I'm skeptical, as of right now I would guess Goku is not going to die and it's almost possibly like Goku's death might be faked. Now, based on what we've seen from Hit's character, I don't know if that correctly meshes with him, because he is stated to be, you know, the number one assassin, and that would probably mean he would be quite cold-hearted, but we did see how much he actually liked Goku. That was quite clear from the tournament. So I guess I wouldn't be too shocked if there was some sort of, you know, Hit is contracted to kill Goku, but perhaps he somehow is able to fake Goku's death instead. But, I mean, I don't know how plausible that would be with how dumb they've made Goku and Dragon Ball Super. I just, it's tough to see Goku enacting any sort of, you know, real-life plan that's not just in the middle of combat. You know, they, they've shown that Goku is still very intelligent in fighting, as he's always been. But, you know, when he's not fighting in Dragon Ball Super, Goku's the biggest fucking knucklehead of all time. So... That does kind of make, like, a faking Goku's death type of deal kind of not very plausible. Now, there was that image released uh, a couple days ago of Hit appearing to hold Goku in his hand. And based on the preview, we do see that that appears to be a hologram, a very Star Wars-esque type of scene there. Uh, obviously, Hit, that must be where Hit is receiving, you know, his uh, orders or his contract to actually terminate Goku we also do see uh, Gohan as the great Saiyan man, which uh, seems kind of interesting, and Goten with some sick-ass shades on. I do like that. But most interestingly enough, there is 
these mysterious aliens being shown. I'm not sure what these could be. Possibly uh, they're the people who are putting the hit on Goku. Uh, I've seen some people even reference that they could be like, you know, like mob ties, like mob related type characters, which certainly would be an interesting uh, addition to Dragon Ball. But uh, you guys tell me what you think. Do you think Goku is actually going to die in the next episode? Or is his death going to be faked? I, if I had to lean a certain direction, man, I feel like I'm going to flip-flop constantly here. I don't know. There have been a lot of hints that they might try and have other characters do stuff. I mean, I could see Goku dying and then, then them thrusting Gohan in the spotlight. But I just really don't think they're ever going to, you know, actually make Gohan a main character again. So I guess maybe we'll see Goku's death being faked because Hit does appear to like Goku. But really, we just don't know enough about Hit yet to really make all these assertions and theories and all this stuff. We kind of need to see more of his character before we really figure out what's going on. So I am very, very excited for Dragon Ball Super Episode 71. This looks like this could be another good one. As long as the further we get away from the terrible ending of that Future Trunks arc, the happier I get.